Welcome back to the channel again. Uh, today we're going to do uh, war films. Now I was going to do war films and war film music, but I've got too many Blu-rays and stuff, so I'm just going to do the music, which is what we're all here for anyway. So I was going to put them all in order, but I didn't. So this is in no particular order. So I'm just going to go through all the war-related kind of Birdman kind of logic here, war-related. Uh, CDs that I have. So just going with the first one here. Bit of John Barry, uh, The Last Valley, which was set between the years 1618 and 1646, which was the Thirty Years' War. I have seen it. I think I was about 10 when I saw it. Can't remember anything about it, but it's a wonderful score. Uh, Legends of the Fall. Uh, I call it a war film because uh, part of it is set during the First World War. Uh, lovely score. That's the original soundtrack. That's the one that uh, Birdman got me. Thank you again, Birdman. Uh, again, fantastic James Horner score. Gladiator uh, starts out starts out with a war against uh, uh, the German people, as they were then. Uh, but great film. Again, tenuous link, but war. Uh, Last Samurai. Uh, a war film, uh, music by Hans Zimmer, great score, great film as well. If you haven't seen it, see it. Uh, Pearl Harbor. Now I quite enjoyed the film. Uh, the half hour attack scene is fantastic uh, and I love the music. I just wish it was complete on that. But uh, it's an okay film, fun film. Uh, Dunkirk. It's a great film, fantastic film. Score? Mm, not so much. Uh, that was one of those blind buy things, uh, and it's just, it's not a great listen. It kind of works ish in the film, but it's, uh, it's not great. It's just my opinion, of course. Monuments Men, uh, old fashioned war film uh, with an old fashioned score by uh, uh, Alexander Desplat. Uh, great theme tune, very reminiscent of uh, A Bridge Too Far, funnily enough. Uh, Merry Christmas, Mr. Lawrence. Uh, music by, I'm going to butcher his name now, uh, Ryuchu Sakamoto, I believe. Uh, great theme tune, uh, atmospheric score. I've, I saw the film years ago, I can't remember it that well, uh, but it's a war film. Uh, Memphis Bell, music by George Fenton. Great score, great film. Saw that at the cinema in uh, Basingstoke, I think. I think, or it could have been Oxford. One of the two, probably Oxford. Uh, Good fun film, uh, fictionalized story of the Memphis Bell, I think, but uh, yeah, great score. I've included The Matrix because it is a war against us and the machines, isn't it? And the great scores by Don Davis. Uh, so that, that's the original three soundtracks. I, 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 I still haven't got the uh, the expanded version of that, you know, the, the Varese one, but I will get it at some point. Some more John Barry. Uh, it's a weird release. This, this was a release called Soundtracks and Singles. Three CDs. Uh, the first CD had Zulu on it. Great film, great score. Uh, watch that, get the score. Worth it. Zulu Dawn was the kind of semi-sequel. Uh, this was about what happened previously. What's well, prequel, really? Uh, what happened previously to, to Zulu. Uh, same producer. Great score by Elmer Bernstein. Uh, if you haven't listened to this, the film's okay. It's it's uh, it's spectacular, but it's it can be a bit dull. Uh, but score is great. Elmer Bernstein just doing big, expansive Elmer Bernsteiny type stuff. Uh, probably the greatest uh, Elmer Bernstein World War Two score, The Great Escape. Wonderful score, wonderful film. Uh, I haven't seen that for a while, but. Uh, Classic, classic score as well. That's the uh, the Entrada uh, three disc version, uh, the complete score plus the original soundtrack. That's the uh, the re-recording done by the Royal Scottish National Orchestra. Uh, yeah, great. Uh, some John Williams now. War of the Worlds, us versus unnamed aliens, not Martians in in this film. Could have been, but it wasn't. They weren't named. Uh, but yeah, it's got war in the title, so it's a war film. Uh, John Williams again, Saving Private Ryan, great, great film. 
kind of hard to watch at, at times, uh, rightly so as well. Uh, the opening kind of 25 minutes is a stormer of a scene. Uh, yeah, great understated score by John Williams as well. Patriot. Uh, lots of people in the UK are a bit sniffy at this, you know, saying the history's all wrong and uh, the, the Brits weren't really like that, all that kind of thing. I just think it's a great ad adventure war film. Uh, great performances, great score by John Williams. Watch it, listen to the score. Let's get an expanded score on that, wh whoever's listening. Uh, another hard watch, but another great film and a great score, Schindler's List, John Williams again. Uh, this is like Marmite. People either love this or hate it. I love it. 1941. I first saw that when I was about 13 or 14 when it first came out on video. Uh, and I just I just fell in love with it. Uh, that's the original soundtrack release. I've got it on LP as well. Uh, the gatefold one. Only one LP. And that's the, uh, the La La Land uh, expanded version. I was so chuffed when I got that. Love that film. Uh, another war film, Civil War. Uh, John Williams and Steven Spielberg again Lincoln great film uh, if you haven't seen it see it lovely score as well another John Williams film Midway bit of a, a bit of a crappy film actually I mean it's interesting but it's it's made up of stock footage and footage from Tora 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 and really kind of melodramatic drama uh, it's a bit of a missed opportunity uh, Bizarrely, the, uh, the Roland Emmerich film Midway is better. Uh, here's a film that I haven't seen, but I again, I just bought it because it was a John Williams score, The Book Thief. Apparently, a, you know, a decent film, but a lovely score. It's okay. Born on the 4th of July, John Williams. Great film, great performance. Tom Cruise can act. Who knew? Uh, we always knew he could act. Uh, but yeah, I would love to see an expansion of that score searing main theme lovely lovely stuff uh, Steven Spielberg starting to go serious after the color purple Empire of the Sun that was the original uh, release uh, I have that on LP as well and that's the expanded La La Land edition great film fantastic performance by a very young Christian Bale uh, and a storming fantastic wonderful score by John Williams again if you haven't heard it haven't seen it do both uh, here's a film that I can't remember if I've seen or not Morituri uh, I think it's also known as The Saboteur uh, it's about sabotaging a, a German ship during World War II haven't seen it but Jerry Goldsmith good score now I've included this this was uh, Jerry Goldsmith uh, with the Philharmonia this was recorded after a concert he did with them in I think March 1987 uh, but this was my, the first time I heard the suite uh, the, the general suite uh, there was a recording of this uh, on that uh, and it had uh, a, a wonderful suite of music from the Blue Max uh, which is the f I think the first time I'd ever heard uh, that as well so that, that's, uh, that's a great CD for me great memories uh, Under Fire is Under Fire a war film? I, I think so uh, but great Jerry Goldsmith score why am I questioning it? I chose it it's my choice uh, Tora 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 great film uh, there, there is some iffy model work in there nowadays, but uh, just the scale of the destruction in this film is uh, it, it's immense. Uh, and the build up to it is, I mean, a lot of people find it dull and very dry, but I, I find it just really interesting. Uh, the Japanese scenes were filmed by Japanese uh, producers and directors, and uh, the American scenes were filmed by Americans. Unique approach, but good film. I've included this because it's... Uh, a War Between Toys, but great fun Jerry Goldsmith score, Small Soldiers. That's the original release, that's the uh, the Verez uh, Deluxe Edition. Again, fun film. Ah, never seen this film. Great Jerry Goldsmith score though. Uh, that's the, the Entrada 2 disc edition. Uh, I missed out on the 4, 3, 4, is it 3 disc edition? Might get it at some stage if I can find it. Uh, Again, another thank you to uh, Daniel at uh, Soundtrack to Birdman. Love this score, MacArthur. Uh, film's okay, it's, it's a bit dry, uh, but great performance by uh, Gregory Peck. 
but I love the score. I had that on LP for so many years. Couldn't play it because I didn't have an LP player anymore. LP player, record player. Uh, but yeah, thanks, Daniel, for get, getting me that. MacArthur. Another Jerry Goldsmith in harm's way. Uh, it's about America's involvement uh, with, with, for the first year of the, for the Second World War. Uh, and it involves Navy officers, John Wayne and uh, uh, other people. A classic Jerry Goldsmith score, Patton. Just over 30 minutes of music, just over half an hour of music for an almost three hour film. That's incredible, but what an incredible score. That's got the, uh, the original film score and the re-recording done for the soundtrack album. Uh, great stuff. And here is the Royal Scottish National Orchestra re-recording of uh, that score uh, and some tracks from Tora Tora Tora. Uh, the Blue Max. Who hasn't got the Blue Max? Who hasn't got numerous recordings of the Blue Max? Uh, that's the Tadlow re-recording, which is fantastic. And it includes an extra CD uh, and it's got uh, Gathering of Eagles, Sand Pebbles, Inchon, uh, Tora Tora Tora, The Chairman, The Mummy, and Omen 3, The Final Conflict. What a mix. Uh, that's the La La Land uh, complete score and uh, uh, the original soundtrack album and loads of extra stuff. And that's just a, uh, a CD of the score from some other producer. Now, I've included this. It's not a war film as such, but it's got a track title called Block War. So I've included Judge Dredd just because it's got that title, Block War. My rules. And it's also got that one, the expanded Enchanted release, has got the great Jerry Goldsmith trailer music. Uh, anyway, uh, I've included uh, Alan Silvestri's Forest Gump, because it's a lovely score, uh, and because uh, it included a sequence set in Vietnam, which was uh, a war. Uh, Basil uh, Polidorus, uh, Red Dawn. Uh, it's a war between America and Russia. I've said Basil Polidorus again one of my favourite Basil Polidorus scores Starship Troopers War Between Us and Giant Insects that's the original release that is the splendid deluxe edition fantastic score that love that uh, okay I've included this because it's set during the Great Jewish Revolt or the Jewish War or the First Jewish-Roman War. Uh, and it's Masada. That was the original soundtrack release, which I have on LP as well. Uh, that was the expanded uh, original uh, recording from the TV series, uh, all episodes. Uh, uh, Morton Stevens and Jerry Goldsmith. Jerry Goldsmith did the first two episodes, Morton Stevens did the second two. Uh, and that's just the gigantic 38 disc, or whatever it is, four disc, three disc, five disc, uh, 28 disc, oh, that's four discs, four disc version uh, that recently came out uh, by Entrada with extra stuff. So love that score. It's one of my most listened to scores along with Air Force One and loads of others. Uh, next one, classic film. One of my favourite, well, this is always in my top 10 uh, films of all time uh, and it's Lawrence of Arabia. That's the original uh, soundtrack recording. That was the re-recording uh, done with the Philharmonia Orchestra and Tony Bremner. Uh, but that's almost a perfect film to me. Love it. Uh, James Horner, Braveheart. Love that film. Love that score. He should he should he should have won the Oscar for that. I I prefer that score over Titanic. He should have won it for Braveheart. I think. Uh, Alan Silvestri, Allied, uh, a Second World War thriller with uh, Brad Pitt and uh, uh, that French girl, whatever her name is. Uh, but yeah, decent film, decent score. Glory, great film, great score. That's just the uh, the normal soundtrack release, the, the, the original one. I don't have the expanded one uh, yet, hopefully. But uh, yeah, I can't say any, anything better about it. It's a great film and it's a great score. Uh, Troy. Enjoy the score. I, I, I love the film, uh, especially the kind of director's cut version of the film. Uh, Gabriel Yarod, if that's how you pronounce his name, I, I love his score as well. But when I've, the parts of it I've heard on uh, uh, YouTube, I would love that to be released. But uh, we have that. That's just a normal one. There was an expanded one, which I don't have. But uh, yeah, great stuff. 
More John Williams, uh, War Horse, set during the First World War. Lovely score, and I think it's a lovely film as well. Uh, just a very old fashioned, beautiful looking film as well. Great stuff. Uh, again, one of my favorite war films of all time. Uh, again, it's, it's not loved by critics for some reason. Uh, it's A Bridge Too Far. That was the, the original CD release. I do have that on LP as well. Uh, and that was the quartet uh, expanded release, which included the, the original film score and the original soundtrack album. Uh, but I love that film. Uh, great, great stuff. Uh, and I've included uh, in my war film uh, thing, Independence Day, David Arnold. Great score. That was the original release. And that's the expanded uh, La La Land release. Great, great stuff. Uh, I wish David David Arnold would go back to doing these big splashy scores again for films. Lovely, lovely stuff. Uh, I've included uh, the last two films uh, of the Avengers, so Infinity War and Endgame, because it is a war between us and them, isn't it? Uh, and I, I just think it's two fantastic scores by Alan Silvestri. Uh, just storming, storming stuff. Alan Silvestri just seems to get better with age. Love that. Uh, a bit of Ron Goodwin here. Battle of Britain from 1969, I believe, 1970. Um, but yeah, uh, his score replaced uh, a score by, I can't remember his name. I should have looked it up before I did this. Uh, Sir William Walton, which uh, Laurence Olivier wasn't happy about. But I, I love Ron, Ron Goodwin and I love his score for that. So that's what we have. Uh, it's got some William Walton on, uh, on there, so uh, that's fine. Another uh, bit of Ron Goodwin. Now, I loved this film when I was a kid, but you know, I haven't seen it again recently. It's it's a bit dull and some of the model work's a bit uh, ropey, but great score, great theme tune. Force 10 from Navarone. Ron Goodwin again. Uh, now, this is a weird kind of uh, double dipper one. This is uh, We're Eagles Dare and 633 Squadron. Uh, two great scores, two great theme tunes uh, by Ron Goodwin again. Uh, I then later got where Eagles Dare, the expanded uh, score. Uh, and it also comes with Operation Crossbow, another Ron Goodwin uh, score about trying to blow up factories that are making flying bombs during World War II. So two great World War II scores. Uh, I've included a game score here. Uh, Michael Giacchino and Chris Tilton. I think the majority of the music is by Chris Tilton. It's mercenaries and it's a kind of a war zone in North Korea. So, But it's great stuff. It's a great score. That's the first. That's the first uh, gaming score that made me sit up and listen. I'm not. I'm not a huge gamer, so when I heard that, I thought, "Wow, they're using big orchestras for for, for making games now." So that was an eye opener for me. So I love that. Uh, uh, more Michael Giacchino, "War for the Planet of the Apes." Love that score as well. I, I love both his scores for for the Planet of the Apes films and Patrick Doyle's for the first one as well. Uh, but I've chosen that one because it had "War" in the title. Uh, uh, I could have included Terminator scores because they're set a future kind of war, but they're, they're, most of them are set in our time. So uh, I've chosen Terminator Salvation. Uh, I quite like the score by Danny Elfman, and I quite enjoy the film. It always gets slammed, but I, I quite enjoyed it. Uh, but again, it's, it, it is a war film. Uh, another great TV score from the early 80s, uh, a bit of Bruce Broughton. Uh, the Blue and the Grey. Uh, I remember that watching that, uh, I must have been 15 or 16, and just being blown away by it. Just, you know, epic scale TV and a great score, great theme tune as well. Tune? Tune. Uh, okay, we're getting down to the bottom here. Uh, Casualties of War, Ennio Morricone. Uh, it's a really dark film, uh, a really good film though. Brian De Palma uh, and a really lovely, uh, heartbreaking score by Ennio Morricone. Uh, don't see a lot about that, but I like that. And last by no means least, more TV. Uh, one of one of the greatest World War Two series ever. Uh, Band of Brothers, uh, and Michael Kamen's score. Uh, love that. So uh, yeah, but that's it. That's uh, that's all the ones I, I, I dragged out. I'll, I'll probably find some more over the next uh, couple of days and think, damn, I should have put those in. But Here's a word from our sponsor.
Yeah, I don't have a sponsor. Good day.